how to test some sensors on your Fox body. It is an oscilloscope. And there, the only problem is the color is a little closer to uh, Duke Blue, but that's okay. <laughs> I usually don't trust what previous owners did, so. <laughs> this cylinder's staying more stable than this one. What does this mean? Welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt, and today what we are talking about is actually how to test some sensors on your Fox body. Uh, Matt over here at Fox Mustang Restoration got a new oscilloscope, and this is his SSP Peaches, which I've talked to, talk to you guys about before, and this is what we're going to be doing the work on today. Peaches is a former Georgia Highway Patrol car that Matt's been restoring here at the shop. And uh, Matt, did I get that terminology right? Is that an oscilloscope? It is an oscilloscope. Very cool. Um, you just got this too, by the way. I yeah. did. I just got this. Uh, my old one broke. So okay. I haven't had one for a little while. Yeah, it looks nice and new. The only problem is the color is a little closer to uh, Duke Blue, but that's okay. I know <laughs> you didn't like have a, a color choice, did like you? It's Ford Blue, man. Oh, so. uh, it's Ford Blue? All right. All right. <laughs> we'll be go. okay with it. Ford Blue. <laughs> Ford safe here. But yeah, yeah uh, oscilloscopes are really cool because um, you can actually see the pattern mapped out on a graph yeah it'll tell you how it should be and then you'll be able to see how it matches up when right, we test it right right which this one right here i've actually got the pattern up for the uh o2 sensor which i'm getting ready to check and hook up to the o2 sensor so what's cool about this i don't know if the thing can see it yeah i got a little glare there yeah. there we go you there can we go. make it out a little bit so uh yeah this thing's really nice because it gives you a sample pattern of what it should look like and then while I'm running it, while I'm actually running the test, it'll overlay the actual pattern over the sample or I can just like take the sample away. I'm gonna hook this up and test the O2 sensor to see if we get an erratic pattern. Okay. That's mainly what I'm looking for is an erratic pattern because I know the O2 sensors are good. You already, they you should already be good. Them? They just, I just put in Fords, okay. uh, Ford O2 sensors. Cause she's um, been running a little rich, right? She has been running a little rich. Uh, I found a slew of problems. I mean, she sat for almost 20 years. So it had wow. a lot of electrical problems that I had to fish out. Um, but right now I've got most of them gone. Uh, now I just get, it runs a little, smells a little rich at an idle. Every once in a while I get that little, you know, like a stutter in the engine, little stutter in the yeah. engine. And I'm really trying to track that down. Uh, I just wanted to run nice and smooth. Uh, I, cool. I kind of think the, uh, O2 wiring harness is bad. It, it's soaked in oil. So I want to check okay. my signal to see if I, I have some type of a uh, voltage bleed through these saturated wires. Gotcha. How much does one of these kind of cost? Do you, you have an idea? Uh, well, yeah, I just bought one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they're a pretty good chunk of money. A good one like this, uh, this one ran, I think about 1500. Wow. Yeah, so it's definitely nothing that but, a novice is going to pick up. But you actually do this kind of work all the time. This is the, exactly right, one of the things right. you do here. When I was being trained for engine diagnostics, they actually trained me on an oscilloscope. Okay. So yeah, I know that's one of your services though. It's what anything to get the car running basically you do here. Yeah, I do a uh, electrical and engine diagnostics. So if the car's running a little weird, uh, you know, rich, you got a vibration or something like that. Uh, you know, I do do that type of work. Okay. Uh, and that's ba mainly what I got this for. Awesome. So unless you want to spend 1500 bucks and figure it out yourself, if you're having a similar problem, you can give Matt a call. I always have his contact information down in the description below and he can take a look at your Fox body. If you're here local, we are in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina area. Technically it's locust, but yeah, certainly give Matt a call. We're gonna go ahead and walk you guys through that process today though and see what we find. This device will actually also test spark, which Matt is about to demonstrate. So you got this plugged into the spark plug wire. So right now we're checking the spark guys and the pattern is very erratic. Yeah, let me, let me scan out of here. You can see it's kind of jumping all around. Yeah, like that one's like fluctuating. This cylinder's staying more stable than this one. I think it could be the injectors. We already did a test. We know we have an erratic pattern on at least two of the injectors. One of them is really bad. Uh, here's a sample of the ignition pattern from two cylinders. I'm not sure what cylinders they are because this machine has to run off of the ignition coil. So it doesn't give me a, a display of which cylinder is which. But you see this cylinder here, this one's firing fairly smooth. So you notice this, this ignition is fairly smooth. We get some voltage spikes, 
But this one's all over the place. It's like dancing around. It's dancing. Uh, being into how erratic that is, I would say that it could be the indi an indication of a bad spark plug or spark plug wire. But I know all this stuff's new. I know I do have problems in the injectors. So my guess is that whatever cylinder this is, it's uh, I have an injector issue. Yeah, you're already thinking about cleaning out the injectors anyway because you replaced so much else. Yeah, yeah, and the injectors that are on this car are not stock, so the previous owner did change them. But the rest of the car stock. Right, exactly, and I usually don't trust what previous owners did, so <laughs> I'll go in. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put stock ones back in, uh, ohm them out to make sure the windings are good in the injectors, and I'll throw them back in and we'll check all of our patterns again. So that's displaying all eight, displaying all eight cylinders so right there. We backed there. out a little bit, now we got all eight cylinders, it looks yeah. like. All right, and now Matt's actually hooked this up to the O2 sensor, he's gonna be able to see what the we'll pattern is there. To. We'll do one bank here, let me see this. Yeah, so the O2 sensors, there's a bank on each side, obviously, so. Yeah. We're gonna test both of them and see. So the blue is gonna be the driver's side. I'm using the bed of nails on this uh, probe, which is, again, easy way to pierce into a wire. These special uh, little clamps have little tiny wires that just poke into the insulation to get my signal. It also have has to... a prong attachment as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Both. yeah, you can swap out to that too if you just want to probe into it. I find this is easier. So we're plugged into the driver's side O2 sensor. Driver's side O2. Yeah, you see how it's spending too much time on the upper end of the should scale? should already be coming down right there, right? Yeah, you should have, it shouldn't be hanging in one end of the scale for very long at all. It should be a very consistent pattern of an up and down wave. So when it stays too much on one end, uh, the high end is too rich, low end is too lean. Okay, this one's so if we saw this way down rich. here, it'd be Yeah, if lean. it was staying too lean, yeah. Okay, so it's running rich. And you can smell the gas yeah, in I the can air smell right it now here, just yeah. for running. Yep. And this yeah. does have uh, it does have catalytic converters on it, so it does. It's not like it's you know for, for too much gas. It's not like it's too much gas from having no cats or anything. All right. So here's the other O2. Okay. Here's the passenger bank. It's way up there already. I can tell. Yeah. It's not coming down like it should. Yeah. This one's hanging up a little bit, a little longer. So we may actually have a, an injector worse on this side. This is that side that we tested the injector that had the real bad spike. Okay. Uh, the very prominent one. But yeah, you can still see like um, how they're basically consistent from left to right, uh, left bank and right bank, uh, which is telling us that... Um, see, that looks a little better. Yeah, though. that's looking a little better right then there. Then it messes up again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, right. I think the injectors are messed up and or too big. So I'm going back to stock. I got a set of originals I'm going to clean uh, and test, and we'll put those back in, and we'll run all these tests over again. We're expecting improvement, but you don't know. That's why they call it diagnostic... So let's see what happens when we give a gas. Pattern stayed up. No, it went up and down, sorry. See yeah, more, much more up and down, yeah. yeah. You gotta, now we you gotta let it, you gotta, you gotta let it even back out. Either that or my probe came loose. No, no, it's coming back now. There we go, my probe may have came loose momentarily. Yeah. Or it took that long for it to clean back up. Yeah, when he gives it gas, guys, you can really see it go up and down. Yeah, well, it's because it's going super rich because I'm giving it gas. and it smooths out yeah uh, and then when I let off the gas it takes a little while to come back and, and you can see it's up. still wanting to hang up on the upper so end they're, they're spitting too much fuel out at idle basically yeah which okay. tells me it probably has a leaking injector yeah um, and we don't think it's O2 sensor because you re you replace the O2 sensors and it's reading the same on both sides so correct yeah. all right yeah all right our O2s are good I'm pretty sure we got an injector problem so next step clean the injectors yep for you guys, that's well, going to be another video. Yeah. And I'll, replace, and replace the injector. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these, and I'm going to clean some stock ones. Okay. Yeah. That's an indication. I don't know, 
if you can see it. The dip? Uh, no, yeah. No, so I got this. Flash. I got this little weird spike that keeps jumping yeah. around. That's an indication that there's a there's a problem somewhere in the electrical circuit. Okay. Uh, that could be an injector wind, winding going bad. Otherwise, let's see here. So the computer's working because you can see the difference between where it drops off right here and the length of this bottom line. Hopefully you can see it. As you increase RPM, the injector stays open longer. So this dip is how long the injector's open in milliseconds. Right now it's staying open about 4.5 to 4.7 milliseconds. That's thousands of a second. Let's check another injector. Ah, right, look. This one doesn't have that spike. No, it doesn't. And actually, if you feel the car, every time we get a dip in RPM, it kicks over on this side. So that's not a big cam, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> so I wanted to come outside because, you know, it's nice and rainy out here. It's, uh, it's just raining today. You know, it is what it is. But that is how you diagnose something, or at least if you have that $1,500 tool, how you diagnose it. I think that oscilloscope is pretty awesome. I definitely am learning a lot over here. Matt has been using it for years, but it was pretty cool how you could see the different patterns there. So I will let you guys know if the injectors solve the issue on Peaches. Uh, hopefully if you're having the same issue, what you can take from this is it might be your injectors. Might not. Uh, bringing it over here to Matt and letting him look at it, he has the right tool and he could be able to tell you if that's the issue. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, and we will see you next time on Gearhead 704. What does this mean? This means that the rear end is finally done. Finally, oh my goodness.